I just got 320 Indigo Star Prisms from my Zadnor lockboxes I opened. And people will be like, oh, ha ha, that's a funny joke to start the video with. But I ain't joking. <laughs> and from my data, that is a pretty wild rate to get Indigo Stars. That is the majority of my lockboxes. Actually, let me know in the comments, do you love your Indigo Stars? What do you plan to do with your indigo stars? I need some creative ideas for what to do with this massive pile of them. So hey guys, and welcome to my channel. When it comes to the Bojan Relic content, there is no denying that your inventory gets absolutely flooded with lockboxes. These will give you a random piece of loot every time you open them. So I figured, why not do my very cool thing and take it and do math with it? With just a total of just barely under 500 lockboxes. We're at 432 in this video. So, of course, I took the footage of opening them in my inventory, but I did have the hilarious hiccup of, wow, my inventory got a lot more bloated than I expected. So a quick dump of items later, I came back and continued with my inventory destroying goals. <laughs> so from here, I put everything into a spreadsheet, and here I got the results here. Boop! The spreadsheet's a little bit bigger than I can fit on the screen, though, so... Please bear with me. <laughs> but that is one heck of a lot of items. But now the real question is, are they worth anything? At least that was the goal. <laughs> Insert record rip noise here. I actually didn't finish the video on Sunday night, which is really my goal. So now we are on Wednesday morning, and then I did the market board data collection multiple times. This is going to be my second time of doing it, which shows an even more interesting trend in the data that is probably literally surprising to absolutely no one. <laughs> that Prices ultimately went down as a whole for this item as a lot. So the silver lining is, I guess, that I can show that? I know, that's not shocking, I'm sorry. But let's dive a little bit more into the data and suss out some of these details. So the total number of Zadnor lockboxes was 432. My first index of data is 3, and my last is 57, leading me to a total set of 54 different items, 14 of which were materia, and so I really had 43 pieces of novel, interesting loot. I went and wrote a very, very simple query, trust me, nothing of big brain about what I did here, and then I really want to pull the top five items here for each of the time periods and see really what is the highest gill value piece of loot and like what were the other ones like can I notice a trend is there anything taking up the majority of the gill hint yes <laughs> uh, and really the highest gill value piece of loot was the hair style by an incredibly incredibly large margin Rest in peace, all fellow Rosgars and Vieres, sadly. And it is starting off at 1.5 million gil before, and currently it's sitting around 1.3 million as of the time that I am actually doing this video again and did a second data collection. So, but what we are seeing is that there is a steady drop-off over the past few days and an undeniably decent chunk of gil still, though. Like... 1.3 million dropped into your inventory. I'm not going to complain about that. I like that. But now let's look at the rate of that. So 432 divided by 2, which means a roughly 1 in 216 chance of getting the hair from my data. I know. Very big brain math, right? But regardless, this is showing it's just like 1 per like 200 lockboxes roughly. RNG might bless you. RNG I know hates me. So take it with a grain of salt. But this honestly means that the high ticket item is a very low chance of obtaining it, probably the only reason that it still has such high value, honestly. But I wasn't just satisfied at just seeing, what is the top item? From over a million gil item, I want to see the trend. And what are we seeing for the other items? Because it's like, okay, that's a brilliantly high ticket item, but let's see the rest. Um, it's a pretty steep fall off. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. it it's like 1.3 million, bam! Like 70k gil for like Biako Cubs over the two days. You can see there's some variance there. That's probably because a lot of people just saw more Biako Cubs and then people were like, oh my god, I need to buy these Biako Cubs, which they are super cute. I mean, if one thing has been proven over the years is it's like any cute cat minion, any cute dog minion, actually, 
any cute minion in general is gonna sell really 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 well and the Biako Cub is adorable so it doesn't shock me that people saw it and they're like I want one <laughs> so that's probably what we've seen in the market board honestly but what we see from there further from there is we see it even bigger drop off even there for Biako sideboards and Scarlet Peacock which are minions and housing items from the Stormblood for Lords Trials I mean obviously the Biako Cub is Biako from Stormblood 2, but I'm going to the sides here. But then after that, we see a wind up Shinryu and a Seitei. Seite? I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, at a dramatic fall off down to like 15k gil. So just to see the fall off further though, I expanded the query for the top items a few more items down. And honestly, the fall off is very real with the 10th most valuable item currently being down at roughly 3.7 gil. Yikes. And we said that we had 54 different items with 13 of them being materia earlier, meaning that skimming materia and that top 10 items off means that we still have 31 different items that are worth below 3.7k gil, which is incredibly oof. I do want to explicitly draw attention in the audio though that like the total gil made is like 3.4 million ish on the Sunday and then it dropped down to 3.1 million gil roughly today and so really the modern aesthetics and the Biako Cub and the Scarlet Peacock are carrying this incredibly hard this metric so what you're really going to get from the Zadnor log boxes is really going to be dependent on how those four items fluctuate. The Biako stuff, the Scarlet Peacock, and the Modern Aesthetics hairstyle. But I want to have fun here and see the biggest oof of how low can we go. And so I did the inverse and wanted to see what were our biggest stinkers in the bunch. The true Conor McGregor dumps of the lot and taking up the top 15 worst of the worst. Well, we're not even breaking 200 gil here at the best of the 15 worst. We were taking items like Orange Dahlia Corsage, the Thavernarian Wool Autumn shirt, which, yes, trying it on myself, I don't like it all <laughs> either, honestly. Really, this shirt is in competition with the Platinum Relic armor sets for like range DPS as well as casters and healers, as just how much I am disgusted by them. <laughs> but Let's continue our top list of rotters, which is also going to include things like Stuffed Parafool and, of course, Indigo Stars. Speaking of Indigo Stars, how many of those did I get? I wasn't joking when I said 320 at the start of this video, and so that means 432 lockboxes, 320 of those were Indigo Stars. So just doing the super big brain math of 320 divided by 432 lands me at 0.74, which roughly is 74%. Ugh. So roughly 75% of my log boxes or 3-4 were like giving me indigo stars, which yeah, the meme of indigo stars is eternal it seems. So anyhow, that is really all I want to say for this video, and let me know, have you opened anything cooler from your boxes? Do you love your indigo stars? And let me know what you're planning to do with your indigo stars in the comment section below. I need some creative ideas. Anyhow, take care everyone, and have a fantastic relic grind. Is giving indigo stars to sprouts too mean? It might actually be. I don't know if I want to encourage that. <laughs>